Hey, welcome to Graphic Pilots Delvin GP TV. I'm Brett. We're doing the unboxing of the latest release from 112 Collective, the Red Skull. Now we've done a Red Skull unboxing before. That was the New York Comic Con exclusive. This one, though, is the regular figure, much more towards the Red Skull that we know now with his black trench coat, as opposed to the OG Red Skull in his green outfit. Alright, looking at this right away, you know, it's a figure that doesn't seem to have tons of extras coming with it. We've got a head, we've got only uh, two sets of hands, Cosmic Cube and his gun. But this one's going to be a lot about the details, I think, so let's open it up and show off what's inside. You know, immediately looking at the figure, the box is similar to the Deadpool box that we've uh, seen before, which is a new type of box. You know, a lot of these have had a flap in the past, but it looks like 112 is getting rid of that, which is now like the third or fourth type of box they've had. All right, open it up on the bottom. We've got nothing special underneath, so it's all going to be about what's under the flap here. Right. Alright, let's go with the stand test for this red skull. And as you can see, Santa, no problem at all. Uh, as usual with the Mezco figures, there's not much of an issue when it comes to having the figures stand on their own. Alright, let's go with the next test how well the uh, joints work and what type of movement we got. As we see for the foot, up, down, left, right. Pretty much the normal uh, movement that we can expect. We got the knees, just getting the regular movement as well. The hip as the movement that we'd expect. He bends at the waist a little bit. This has been the, maybe the one thing that I think a lot of folks have issues with the uh, 112 figures. They don't have a lot of movement on the body bending down. Uh, as far as the arm, it's got the decent movement. You know, there's a little bit of restriction just due to the trench coat, which would be expected. Uh, not bad, though. And then the wrist has got lots and lots of movement as well. And then when it comes to the head... We, of course, have the full movement that we would expect. All right, now let's go with the details of the figure. Start at the bottom with the, the shoes. We've got the uh, nice shoes that you'd expect, the nice, shiny. Uh, they're not boots. They just look like dress shoes, which is a little bit different than we see a lot of the figures. Um, going to the hands, it looks like he's wearing gloves, which I think is excellent. Um, Small detail, but important detail. So, the boot or the shoes look like dress shoes. The hands look like gloves. And then let's go with the trench coat itself. It's an uh, impressive trench coat. Um, lots and lots of detail on it. You can see some slight buttons going down the front here. I think that's what it's supposed to be. You can see like three gray dots. Uh, of where the buttons are supposed to be. Uh, we got the um, end of it rolled up with the red detailing. He's got the shoulder marks, which is good. Um, the belt has a hydra symbol in the middle, and then it wraps around, and then a spot to for him to hold his pistol, which I believe this opens up. Yep, there we go. So that is going to be a perfect spot to actually put the pistol when you want to use it or, you know, carry it around. Um, don't know if this actually comes off. If the full belt comes off. Yep. No, no, no. no it looks like we do. That comes off. If you want to take off the coat. Underneath, we've got just kind of a black outfit, and then on the shirt, little stripes there. 
which looks somewhat familiar from comics. So, uh, details. Good details on this. Let's get this back on. See how well, how easy this is. This is the one issue I always find putting these belts back on are actually not the easiest thing in there. There we go. Not the easiest thing in the world. Alright, let's go with the detail of the face. Uh, he's got a slight pissed off look on his face, which totally works. Looks mean, looks angry. The frown skull look. Um, just like the near Comic Con exclusive. It's all about the details on this face. I think they're absolutely fantastic. You can see the eyes, um, even though they're recessed a lot with the brow that kind of covers him up. There's some great detail on there. Um, I don't know how well it's going to come off on the video. But, the detail is actually really impressive. There you go. You can see it. Really impressive as to how well the, the eyes are done. Uh, of course, we got the slight cracks on the side, which I think look absolutely fantastic. Um, coloring is, is really good. There's some uh, shading on there, so we got kind of like the deep recesses all around. Like Overall, I think the head is absolutely fantastic. Uh, detail looks great. Really impressed with the figure, how well it's come out. And let's look at what else you get with it. Look at the other head. This one gives you a nice alternative. We see the whoops, we see the teeth pop up. Um, eyes as well. The the eyebrows raised a little bit. This looks like I think this is the similar one that you get with the New York Comic Con. Um, I'm pretty sure the two heads are New York Comic Con. I'm not 100% sure. Don't have it handy to look at it. But just like the other one, details are absolutely fantastic, top notch. They look really, really good. Um, yeah, as usual, one I think 112 knocks it out of the park when it comes to that. This is one of the most impressive faces that we've seen with any of the figures. Then let's go with the extras that we've got comes with its own little cosmic cube that you can go and take one of the extra hands and put it in. Um, you know, it's just a little plastic square. Not really all that impressive. Um, I think they probably could have done with a little bit more with the cosmic cube. But still, it's a fun little addition. And then, of course, he's got his Luger that he can go and either hold in his hands or put it in the gun holster that is on his side. I'll do a nice little test. See how easy that is to fit in. And you can see. Goes in easily, no problem at all. Alright, so overall, the figure is impressive. What you get, I think, is really, really nice. Uh, the details are great, the belt's great, the, the uniform's fantastic, the skull is absolutely amazing. Um, I think this is one of the best detailed faces uh, that they've released for any figure out there. Um, I wish there was maybe a little bit more as far as extras. You know, it does feel a little chintzy with only, um, with only two sets of hands uh, in addition to what comes with the figure, so there's four extra hands. And then uh, the one Luger and the uh, Cosmic Cube, uh, you know, compared to something like Deadpool, which had the two swords, plus the guns, plus the grenades, uh, plus, you know, the, the rockets for the, one of the guns. Like, you're just getting a lot more detail with, or a lot of extras with that figure that you just don't get here. Still, this is a solid figure. Uh, the detail is absolutely fantastic. I think the, the head's amazing. The body's really done well. Uh, the, the jacket's done well. Like If you are into Marvel Comics, if you're into collecting, especially villains, this is a fantastic rendition of the Red Skull. It's impressive. Um, definitely like this more than New York Comic Con exclusive. The, I think the, the jacket really makes it. The cloak makes it. Um, yeah, so I think that's about everything. You know, I know, I think we got another figure coming down the pipeline fairly soon. It feels like, uh, 
112 and Mesco are really kind of cranking things out here, getting them out uh, after quite of a uh, delay and backlog, various figures. So can't wait to have you to show off more. And you know, of course, if you are into Mesco, if you're into 112, you're into action figures in general, you should follow us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Of course, uh, we're regularly showing off the Mesco figures right here on YouTube, so stay tuned and pay attention to that. Uh, we're going to have links underneath it, this video. Hopefully, uh, you can get uh, your own. Um, but, you know, obviously, these are very hard to get once they uh, get going. So, um, don't know what that's uh, going to look like right now. But we'll do our best to find some options for you out there. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.